Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. The big one today, the League Cup final versus Man City. Can't wait for this, absolutely. It's gonna be an out, amazing atmosphere. And even better when we get this, this win. It'll be the first major title we've ever won in my, in my life, my 21 years. It's just gonna be incredible. Here with Dad. Ready for today, Dad? Absolutely. I mean, what pisses me off is papers saying Carabao Cup, League Cup final, it doesn't matter to anyone. You try asking the Villa fans. Yes, it means a lot to us. And the fans is what football is all about. Not the people who run it and certainly not the media. So we're going to do this today. It's a huge game. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we win this and we will stay up as well. If, yeah, I think we'll stay up regardless. I really do think, think that. But cannot wait for today. Absolutely huge game. Come on, Villa. This means everything to us. Come on, Villa. It means everything to us. Come on, Villa. So, it's the fondest memory of the League Cup. The League Cup history, which fondest memory. Uh, Villa in the League Cup. From my, from my first... Uh, my, first, my best memory is beating Man United in the semi <laughs> when I was about 12 uh, because they, we were the first third division team ever to reach a major Wembley final and uh, it's just been fantastic competition for us but my favourite one of all was beating Norwich 1-0 with Ray Grade and penalty hit the post, we were right behind the goal and he hit the post and the ball came straight back to him and he chested it down and he smacked it past Kevin Cleelan in goal and that was just the moment and I want that today, I really believe we're going to get that today uh, and it's just, just a fantastic cup for Aston Villa. I'm confident, I think, I think, I think Villa fans can be confident, I think, I think it's more hope than anything depends on how we turn up. You can hear the Villa fans singing now, like, the green was closed, Villa haven't gone on the green, we've obeyed by the rules, so, but we've ta still taken over London and we've still taken over Wembley. But, for What's me... What's your favourite moment, Tom? For me, Blackburn semi-final. Oh yeah, Had to be, had one. to be 6-4, it had to that be. Ha and the other day, and the other week against Leicester. And oh. the other week. It would have been Man U if Vidic would have got sent off, but yeah, that's another yeah, story. Yeah, but yeah, today, yeah. it's going to be yeah. today. It's actually going to go down today. I've the one. There's, there's been so many, hasn't there? Yeah, today's going to be my favourite memory. I'm going to go 2-0, do early score predictions. I'm going to go 2-0, okay. What are you going to go, Dad? I'm going to go 1-0. 1-0. Yeah, okay. definitely 1-0. And it'll be somebody unusual that scores. There you go. Probably some matter to me. <laughs> British Grand Masterclass. Come on! Walking around, uh, Villa everywhere. There's not, to be honest, there's obviously loads of city, but it's mainly Villa everywhere. Atmosphere, what do you think, guys? Atmosphere's building. Oh, mate, unreal. Everyone singing, dancing. Can't oh, wait. Went up to, obviously, went up to the green and they kicked Villa off the green. They put borders around it, but you're never going to get Villa off. Like, they've, they've moved around and Villa is. Yeah, Villa's taking over, a bit of trouble, but no need for it. No need for it. But the atmosphere is building and 
It's absolutely incredible. Team line up in 25 minutes. What do you think that's so far? Oh, it's great atmosphere, you know. I mean, we're with the lads. And we're a good bunch of guys and we just want to enjoy it today. We're going to do this. Come on, Villa. Score prediction, Jake. 2-1, oh, Villa. Come two, on. One. Josh, score prediction. 2-0, Villa. Come two, on. 2-0, nil, Villa. I'll go 2-0, nil, Villa. Simon, it's City in the City end today. Oh, Villa. What score prediction? <laughs> what do you think? 5-0, uh, oh, Villa. So two lineup is out. Nyland, Target, Engels, Mings, Gilbert, Elmo, Louise, the Canva, Grealish, El Ghazi and Samata. So we got four five one. As we're saying, Grealish three through the middle. That's what we need. Line up, what do you think guys? Well he's first time he's gone four at the back, I believe, since New Year's Day. We yeah. changed it yeah. to Burnley. Yeah. So last time four at the back was Watford. <laughs> well last um, week at Southampton he changed it Well back. yeah, but uh, starting with it, I think Engels and Mings solid. Al Mohammadi, uh, Two defensive right backs yeah. in the team. We've got Sterling attacking it. I think he's, he's in the right. Field. Gilbert's got to improve after last week. Gilbert, I hope he's fit. I'm sure he will be. But the main thing is we've got to turn up today, guys. Put the effort in. Remember, wear the shirt with pride today, guys. Come on. Good starting lineup. Fingers crossed for the three, for the win. <laughs> three, almost said three points. So what do you think? Cotter hat trick. Uh, Cotter hat trick. <laughs> Elmo on the wing. He's going to win it for us. Trezeguet, he's going to cross the ball into Trezeguet to take it off. <laughs> Connor wait. That's it. So 2-1, um, real shame to lose 
Lose cup final regardless, but it was a real shame to lose it, obviously hitting the post right at the end uh, to deny us from going into extra time. But so I'm so proud of that Villa team after today. Uh, I think a lot of Villa fans are. After obviously getting smashed 6-1 the other week, a lot of pundits and a lot of fans wrote us off. But to only lose 2-1 and against City side, that were brilliant. Not as good as they played against Villa the other week. Um, but we were we were brilliant today. Uh, really proud of them. We fought till the very end. Um, yeah, just couldn't couldn't fault really anyone. Um, they gave they knew what they needed to do and they gave us everything. Uh, just just wasn't meant to be, which is a shame. You're playing one of the best teams in the world, and fair play to Man City. They they you know they played really great game and. The possession wise you know and the shots wise you could say they deserved it and they probably did but if it wasn't for a few refereeing decisions and you know lines and corner decisions in the first half which led to their second goal totally different game and VAR I don't understand what it's being used for when it's not used for stuff like that um, but yeah that changes the game and it should be used and it's a real shame but we as I said so proud um, we play like that every week. We've said this a lot of times when we played, you know, especially when we played like teams like Tottenham the other week. Play like that every week, and we'll be fine. And I think, I think we'll be fine. We'll stay up. We'll def we're definitely going to stay up. We we'll keep fighting like that, and obviously McGinn will be back soon, and it'll be totally different. I think if McGinn played today, we would have won. He brings that extra spark, doesn't it? Like all Villa fans know that. But today was a brilliant day with the lads. With especially just with Villa fans in general, it was a fantastic day. Uh, obviously, great to get to a cup final, but which wasn't meant to be, which is a real shame. Uh, but on to on to staying up. I'd much rather stay up than win the win the cup. So a lot of Villa fans will accept that too. So let's focus on that now. Focus on staying up, uh, and then from next season we could push onwards and hopefully get to another cup final or whatever. You know we can really push on now, and we're going to. You know it's just the, just the very start of the new regime. But Villa really unlucky today, and so proud of them. But don't forget to check out. Obviously, we'll be going to check. Don't forget to check out the other videos. But next week we're going to Leicester away. Uh, we've also booked tickets for booked tickets for Newcastle away as well. So we've got a few aways coming up, a few home matches coming up, and. Can't wait for them, especially Leicester next week. Last last game against Leicester, very good. So, come on, Villa, let's do this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Come